officers, sister in arms, let us pause to reflect. Ford, Patriot, Submariner, and Superintendent Barb as a shipmate during my war patrols. During okay. All right, I'll meet you in that parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. That's when we decided on, right? Yeah. Okay. Lieutenant McFadden now inherits. I now recognize our new brother and sister in arms. Let us pause to reflect. Kings. Greetings! No Having successfully completed. Yes, uh, it's Marquette Levesque, and Marquette, M-A-R-Q-U-E-T-T-E, Levesque, L-E-V, as in Victor, E-Q-U-E. -E. Definitely, it's such an honor to join, such a long tradition of submariners, finally. Um, I think finally when you get wearing the dolphins, it's such a, such a long tradition of amazing men that have fought in the submarine world, so finally getting to join those ranks just feels incredible. <laughs> Obviously, it's a huge honor, but quite honestly, I just... You know, go to work every day and do my job just like my male counterparts have. So it's a huge honor, but at the same time, it's just it feels good to finally be a submariner. <laughs> Definitely. So in order to qualify for our dolphins as officers on board, we go through about a year and a half of training before we show up at the boat. And then when we show up on our boat, uh, we're required to qualify both in the engineering field as engineering officer watch, as well as all the forward qualifications. So we pretty much are required to know all the systems on the entire boat in order for uh, the captain to certify that we are qualified to stand officer of the deck. Right, I mean the whole process of getting the dolphins is it's an incredibly rigorous, there's so much information that you have to learn and know and um, just really being in it every single day and working and you know a couple hours every single day learning to all the systems and the qualifying so it's definitely a very rigorous process. So, Right, so uh, one thing I love about the submarine force is that Immediately when you get on board, you're allowed, you're given a division. So I was given a division of about 12 guys. And I love the fact that I get on board and I can just start leading right away. So now that I'm qualified, I'm definitely qualified to stay on the watch. But I've been doing, you know, all the hard work since day one, getting on board. So. Sir, uh, USS Mama Gold, Chris Nash, C-H-R-I-S, N-A-S-H. Yeah, so Lieutenant uh, Levesque worked for about a year, a little over a year to get that uh, submarine qualification. Uh, as they progress through their qualifications, they'll begin with engineering officer of the watch, engineering duty officer, where they'll qualify in the propulsion plant as supervisors. Uh, once that is done, then they'll work forward. Um, they'll qualify a contact coordinator, um, surfaced officer of the deck, submerged officer of the deck, and then finally, once they've demonstrated they can operate the ship forward and aft, and uh, also um, understand the warfighting aspects, then they'll get qualified in submarines, which is what we celebrated today. The significance of this event is really a culmination of her uh, apprenticeship program on board the submarine. Uh, the expectations are today uh, much higher for Lieutenant Levesque than they were yesterday uh, because over that period of years she has demonstrated not only technical knowledge but also technical competence and leadership competence. So the expectations are no longer that she be a, an apprentice that, but that she be a leader and uh, so I have great expectations that she'll do a great job in that role. So the uh, junior officer tour, uh, initial tour, is about a three-year tour, a little less, 32 months. And uh, so what this means is for the remainder of the next two years roughly on board, uh, she will take ever-increasing positions of responsibility. Uh, she'll take a greater and greater role in the planning and execution of the warfighting of the ship. Uh, and uh, we have great expectations for her in terms of taking that next step and have, a ba based on her talents and, and technical competence, placing her in some fairly uh, substantial positions over the next couple of years. Yeah, to me the significance of this event is, uh, you know, every time we qualify an officer or an enlisted person in submarines, that's significant. Because, as I mentioned earlier, uh, it is a, a testament both their individual hard work, but also the hard work of the crew to get them to that point. This is significant specifically for Lieutenant Levesque because it represents an opening of the aperture for uh, technical talent coming into the Navy. So for officers, we now have uh, twice the uh, number of people that we can select from um, to take those positions of leadership, not having now females uh, qualified. For me, it's also a great thing because I think, and I look at my daughter, and I say, you know what, 
honey, you can look at Lieutenant Levesque and one day you could be a submariner too, just like Daddy. So to me, this was a, it was a great day at a great location. Uh, the weather was perfect. Uh, we were able to do it here at World War II Memorial, which I think is appropriate because any time that we do one of these ceremonies, we look back on our past because it helps define who we are today. So it's appropriate because not only does it show um, that she has taken those steps and talks about what we did in the past, but it also shows what the future of the submarine force is going to be um, and how wide that aperture is for anyone. Fair and equal treatment for all uh, is, a, is a part of our Navy ethos, and, uh, and I think that Lieutenant Levesque represents that well um, for the Navy and for the USS Wyoming. Is there anything else you'd like to add, sir? That's it. Okay.